Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm talking to you guys about my barber station here at my house and the barber tools I used to get it done with. Uh, first off, I got my barber chair right here. It's actually a salon chair I bought on YouTube for 150 bucks, free shipping. Um, it's pretty good and very affordable. Um, what it does is uh, it can lean back. This is as far as it leans back. It has this headset thingy right here. You actually take it off if you want. And these are these little leverage thingies. And you basically just push it forward and it'll lean the chair up. So it's really good. You gotta have something like this at your house where you're trying to cut in a lot. I got these regular chairs, you know, for when the customers are waiting. And I also got a little TV up there to keep them entertained. I mean, you don't want to sit in there all bored and stuff. They don't want to come back. Um, all right, now for the barber tools. Um, got my Motions oil sheen. Some people don't know what this is. You could buy it at Sally's or Walgreens. Um, it's basically like a little thing you spray on after the haircut on the customer's head or whatever. And it smells really good too. So, I mean, if you're really trying to get like a tip every now and then, something good to have. I got my Witch Hazel. It's a replacement for alcohol. It doesn't burn the skin as much as alcohol does. And it works a lot better. Um, I have it in this bottle right here. What I'll do is I'll get a little cotton swab or whatever you have, a little towel, and wipe it on the customer's head around the whole edge of when you're done. Um, got my Andes Cool Care 5 in 1. It's a must have right here. You spray every other haircut on the clippers. Um, it's a coolant disinfectant lubricant cleaner and it's uh, rust, it prevents rust, so it's a must have. Got my aloe vera. This is good for like skin irritations or like little red rashes on the customer's head you know sometimes the clippers cut into their skin or whatever so some good to have to apply on there um, got my club and towel baby powder uh, usually what I'll do with that is I'll apply it onto this thing right here and um, you know wipe down the customer after it smells really good so I mean customers will like it especially after you apply the witch hazel because sometimes it can burn the skin, so this will calm that down. Um, throughout the haircut, what I'll use is this one right here. You can buy it, find it at Sally's. You can find them both at Sally's. This is a little rougher, but it takes down the hair a lot easier. So Those are two really good. It's good to have two different brushes like that. Other than that, I have my water, my clipper oil. Got my barber side. Uh, this is good to have, especially with the blades, the combs, the brushes to disinfect them and stuff. Um, got my Derby Professional Blades. It's like a hundred pack. You find them on eBay for like five bucks. I got one already open. And uh, basically, when I'm doing the shaves or whatever, I, at first I had this standard Magic uh, straight razor. It's pretty good to start off with. Um, I decided to step my game up. I wanted something a little different, so I started searching around, and I found that MD Barber Supply. It came out with this new black dragon. It's just all black, steel coated. It's really strong. It works great. It's really steady, especially when you're cutting, you know, the customer or shaving them. Works great. And you really notice the difference compared to the regular or any other straight razor out there. Um, basically, when I'm shaving, what I'll do is I'll apply some conditioner. You can find this at size L'Oreal. It has olive oil, so it really keep the customer's face moisturized and it'll really make that hair nice and soft so when you shave it'll shave like butter after that I'll ex apply this Exotics by Curtis Smith Shave Therapy you guys gotta check this out it's great um, I'll use this almost uh, actually every time when I'm shaving or just lining up the sideburns or the front line uh, you can actually see what you're shaving and this actually keeps the face moisturized compared to anything else like shaving cream and stuff can't really see what you're shaving and you know you'll cut more than what you really need to um, really gotta check that out you can find it on exotics.com alright now for my guards for my wall senior I have the standard you know wall guards from the number 8 to the half um, I just recently bought these right here these are the Andy magnetic guards Andy's magnetic guards this is how they work right here you put down like that and it'll attach right onto there Hold up. Alright, there we go. That's how it works. And pretty quiet. They work great. 
Um, now getting to the combs, I have these two combs right here. These are kind of rough, but this is what I usually use. It's really soft, and I got my got some toilet paper here. This is basically the same thing as neck strips. They work the same. I uh, got my Norelco shaver. You can find these at Walgreens for like 60 bucks. It works great. It's really not as quiet, but really strong and it's really good to give those close uh, fades, those tight fades, or to just give it that final touch on the haircut around the neck or whatever. All right, now getting to the clippers. I'm going to start off with the trimmers. Got my Andis Style Liner 2 with the ProMate blade. Uh, so far, I just the ProMate blade works great. It's really sharp. I adjusted these really close. If you can see, they're like right on point. So these are going to cut really sharp. Um, you don't really want to use a sharp uh, blade on a customer's neck because it will cut into their skin and you don't really want that happening. Um, other than that, I got my Andis T eyeliner with the Pro Blade blade as well. These are adjusted not as close, but they work great still. I could use this all around the neck. The whole lineup will work great still. Um, now for my bigger clip, we got the Andis Master. This needs no introduction. I mean, it works great. It's really quiet, really strong. Um, it has big, big leverage. Different levels. It's a lot easier to use than you know, any other clipper out there. At first when I bought it, it was adjusted to about right there. Actually, that's how it came. So what I realized is that this little back piece right here you got to take the clipper apart and if you have something like this all you got to do is grab that little piece grab that little piece and lean you know bend it back a little bit and then you'll be able to zero gap your masters like so and these are just really close too so we'll take out that last I mean that little line that you do at first with the pulse fade um, then I got my five star wall seniors. These are great, very powerful. Got the V9000 motor, They're very quiet, and I mean, it's a great all around clipper. I mean, you really want a clipper that could cut through anything. This is it right here. Um, other than that, got my mirror, and then I got this bigger mirror up here. Uh, this is good to have, especially when you're lining up the customer. I mean, you could just face the chair to the mirror and you'll really it'll be a lot easier when you're lining up the customer they'll see what you're doing so that's basically it for my barber station